Special thanks to Patreon supporter Brick Bros 2016 for making this video possible. Hello ladies and gentlemen, here to before we're bringing you another Minecraft Cold War vehicle tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be going ahead and building the Grumman A6 Intruder. The A6 Intruder is a twin jet all-weather attack aircraft developed and manufactured by American aircraft company Grumman Aerospace. The A6 was developed in the late 1950s and early 1960s in response to a requirement issued by the United States Navy for an all-weather jet-powered carrier-based attack aircraft. The uh, aircraft was designed to be operated by a crew of two in a side-by-side -side seating configuration. The workload was divided between the pilot and weapons officer. Uh, in addition to conventional munitions, the type was compatible with the Navy's air-based nuclear weapons, which were deployed via a toss bombing technique. On uh, April 19th, 1960, the prototype performed the type's maiden flight. The A6 was in service with the United States Navy and Marine Corps between 1963 and 1997, and multiple variants of uh, the type were introduced during this time. From the A6 uh, to a special electronic derivative, the EA-6B Prowler. Uh, it was deployed during various overseas conflicts, including Vietnam War and the Gulf War, and the A6 was intended to be succeeded by the McDonnell Douglas A-12 Avenger II, but this program was ultimately terminated, uh, allegedly due to cost overruns. Um, so yeah, the aircraft currently is retired. Um, it was retired in uh, February 28th of 1997, um, so it's been a while, definitely since it's been retired. The um, A6E, I believe, was uh, recently retired. Um, and or that might have been the prower. <laughs> Either way, uh, this aircraft is no longer in service, uh, but it did see a you know pretty lengthy career service time period. And uh, overall, it's just a really interesting aircraft. Um, you know, after building it and redesigning it and stuff, it uh, you definitely kind of appreciate the aircraft. It's a bit of a different design, you know, with a kind of a smaller aircraft in a twin um, cockpit, basically side by side seating arrangement. So uh, it definitely gets a little bit thicker in the front, but definitely is a cool build and I think that this uh, new design for it definitely is a huge improvement over the last one if you compare the two. Um, anyways, uh, I want to go and give a special thanks to Patreon supporter uh, BrickBlows2016 for making this video possible. If you guys are interested in supporting the channel more you guys already do, feel free to check my Patreon page. Link is down in the description where you can go ahead and pledge a small amount to the channel every month and earn a vehicle request of your, uh, basically, of your basically whatever you want uh, in return for uh, the donation so feel free to check that out again link is down in the description in all my videos so uh yeah anyways going ahead and diving on into it uh where we have obviously the landed and in-flight versions of it start off with we have the um later version here obviously you can see the landing gear uh pretty straightforward pretty simple for the loadout um i went ahead and did the 18 225 kilogram bomb loadout as i think it definitely looks awesome and kind of goes along with that Vietnam um, you know, effect of all the bombing raids and stuff like that this aircraft would perform. Um, it's also got two uh, external fuel tanks here on both uh, the outer hard points of the wings. Uh, diving into the aircraft itself, uh, we can go and take kind of look at the in-flight version. Um, the first thing you'll notice is that the obviously the front of the aircraft is a little bit uh, wider than the back and that's just due to the way this aircraft is structured. So it would be two pilots. Or I say two pilots, but you have a pilot and then a weapons officer, and they would be seated side by side. So it's kind of a little bit of an interesting or weird design for a, you know, naval aircraft, considering that most of the ones we've uh, seen in the United States Navy use um, have all been kind of, you know, uh, basically back to, back to front, you know, not in a single line, not side by side. The only exception really be in the Hawkeye. Um, so yeah, pretty interesting stuff, pretty cool. Uh, we have a uh, color scheme that's kind of traditional with most of the A6 interiors you can find out there. It's got a little bit of a kind of a tan um, tint to the nose and then white underbelly for the intakes and just kind of white underbelly in general. The uh, flaps and uh, horizontal stabilizers are kind of highlighted in a white and uh, the main body of it being a uh, gray color. Um, so really cool there. I really love the way it looks. Um, I think the colors really complement each other and it definitely looks really nice. Uh, on the side here of the fuselage we have obviously the navy written and the little uh, logo there on both sides of the fuselage. In the back here we have the tail designation so most likely this would be the aircraft carrier it belongs to so you can put whatever letters you want there um, you know whatever you really want to do. And then back here we have the two jet engines here looking on both sides. As I said, it's a pretty thick aircraft. You look at it from below here and you can definitely see it's uh, definitely a little bit, definitely wide. Uh, but uh, yeah, definitely a cool aircraft for sure. And um, compared to the last one, definitely a huge improvement over the uh, last uh, 
A6 intruder I did. Um, anyways, that's pretty much it for the overview of it. I think it came out really good, and hopefully you guys can enjoy this new design for the A6 intruder. Without uh, further ado, let's go ahead and move into the tutorial by beginning with our first layer. Alright guys, going ahead and moving into our first layer, we'll be going ahead and beginning with layer number 3. Now we're starting with layer 3 because we get a nice basis of the aircraft established. After building this layer, you'll see that we have a good little chunk of it built up. And, um, you know, this it, it makes a lot more sense and you'll see as we kind of add on to it and stuff like that. It's just a good starting point for us to go ahead and get started with the build. Now, um, we, if you're completely new to, new to my tutorials, the way I like to structure these tutorials is I like to do uh, half on camera, half off. What this means is I'll be, able, I'll be building half the aircraft on camera um, and then the other half you'll copy over in between layers. The aircraft is completely symmetrical, uh, so whatever we do on one side, you're going to be doing to the other side. It'll be kind of a, you know... Uh, Thing that you'll pick up on as we kind of move through the layers it'll get a little bit easier and make a little bit more sense um, but you know obviously I'm gonna do my best to explain it as we go on um, also in addition if you do want to build the landed version of this aircraft that's great uh, but we will be building the aircraft as if it's in flight so we're gonna be going back at the end and modifying it to turn it into the landed version now uh, for this to work you need to make sure that you have this built the correct uh, height off the ground so this layer layer 3 is going to need to be three blocks of space from the ground you can see the black wool here representing the ground level and then you can see the blue wool here representing the amount of space you need in between um, basically this layer and the ground very important because obviously if it's too high too low it's not going to sit properly on the deck of your carriers or the deck of or basically your airship whatever you got going on here it's not going to sit right so make sure that that is correct very important um, once that's all settled and you are ready to go uh, we can go and dive into it and get started so the first thing for us to do is to go ahead and grab ourselves some smooth sandstone. And we're going to place down a smooth sandstone upside down stair and sandstone, uh, a smooth sandstone top side like this for the front nose here. And this is going to be about that section right there. So you have about one block from the very tip of the nose there. Um, so right there in the front. Now going back from this, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves some smooth quartz. And we're going to place down a row of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 smooth quartz blocks back. We're going to go ahead and switch to... Direct walls, and we're going to place down a row of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 direct walls back, followed by an iron trapdoor on the top portion of the wall, like that to go and finish it off. With that done, that is our center line of the aircraft, so whatever we do on the right side now is going to be copied over to the left side. Moving on over to the right side, we're going to be placing down an iron trapdoor coming off this sandstone stair. And then going back from that, we're going to place down a quartz, a smooth quartz upside down stair, and another upside down quartz stair coming off of it. We then want to take our smooth quartz blocks and place down a row of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 blocks back. And um, actually we're going to go ahead and just place down 5 blocks back, so my bad. Um, so 5 blocks back, we're then going to go ahead and place down a quartz upside down stair like so. And then we want to go ahead and turn and have our have a upside down quartz stair coming off this stair like so. So this stair turns into a corner stair, we have a regular stair like this. And after this stair we're going to go ahead and go back 1, 2, and 3 more stairs. Uh, back like this, or actually talking about only two more stairs, so you have three regular stairs coming off this quartz upside down stair here. With that done, we're going to go and then place down a quartz top slab, coming off that quartz stair. And then we want to go take our iron trap doors and go back one and two iron trap doors back like that. After that's finished, going ahead and going back up to the front here, we'll be going ahead and going to the second smooth quartz block back, placing down a black concrete block coming off of it, and then back from this block. Uh, this black concrete block, we're going to go, ahead and go back 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8 quartz full blocks back, followed by 1 and 2 quartz top slabs back, and then an iron trap door like this coming off of it on the end there. Going out to the sides again, we're going to be placing down a quartz upside down stair coming off this black concrete block, and then a smooth uh, sandstone upside down stair coming off of it toward the front. We then want to take our quartz stairs and we're going to be going ahead and placing down a row going back from this quartz stair so we have after this stair one two three four five six seven um quartz upside down stairs back and then we're going to take our quartz top sides and place down one and two quartz top sides back fall by one two and three iron trap doors back like that so that's what our fuselage is going to look like for layer number three with that done we're going to be now moving out to our loadouts um to the sides here so these are overall pretty uh, simple and straightforward. It's basically just our bombs and our drop tanks, so nothing real crazy going on here. Uh, but basically for us to go ahead and get started here, we're going to be going ahead and going to our fourth uh, quartz upside down stair back. So again, we have one, two, three, and four. We're going to go, ahead and go out to the side, so skipping a space on the inside there and have it out to the side there like that. Now going back from this, this uh, yellow terracotta block, we're going to place down a green uh, terracotta block, and then a zombie head come off the yellow terracotta block toward the front. We also want to place down a mossy cobblestone wall that's going to be coming off this green terracotta block toward the back and then a darker wood uh, 
trapdoor just like down the end there. We're gonna go and uh, go back two spaces, place down a yellow terracotta block and a zombie head like this. We want to place down there green terracotta block, mossy cobblestone wall, and a dark liquid trapdoor like that for our bombs, which should look something like this. Now with that all done, we're going to take our quartz top slabs in between these mossy cobblestone walls here, or basically coming off this one, we're going to place down a quartz top slab, followed by one, two, three, four, five, and six quartz top slabs forward, and then we just want to take a skeleton skull here and place down a skeleton skull here on the very end. We're going to go ahead and then do the same thing for our bombs, so we're just going to copy what we did over on the other side, just over to this side. So I'm not going to really explain it thoroughly as I already kind of have. So just look over at your bombs already attached and go ahead and do the same thing over to this side. So we get uh, our first hard point, which looks something like that with four bombs in total on it. With uh, that finished, we're going to go ahead and then work on our external fuel tank. For this, we're going to be going ahead and going to our second bomb that's uh, back here to the outside. We're placing down a diorite wall coming off of it. We then want to place down a row of one and two uh, diorite walls going forward of it. So you have a row of three here. With that done, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves some quartz uh, full blocks, and we're going to be placing down a row of three quartz full blocks coming off these three direct walls. Then going toward the front, we're going to place down one and two quartz full blocks with a skeleton skull coming off this first, this one on the very end, and then one coming off the second one here on the side. Then back going this way, we're going to be going ahead and placing down a row of four. So we're going to go and do a row of one, two, three, and four back. After that, we're going to go on the other sides here, place down four skeleton skulls, and then one coming off the back here. And then over here to the side, we're going to be doing the same thing. Four skeleton skulls, four diorite, or three diorite walls, and a skeleton skull like that. And you should get your external fuel tank, which looks something just like that. And uh, obviously, you're going to be taking what we do over here on the right side, flip it over to the left side. So when you look at it from above, you should have something that looks just like this for the base layer, layer number three. Anyways, that's going to finish that up for uh, layer three. Let's go ahead and move on to our next layer layer number two. Alright guys, moved into our next layer, we have layer number two. For layer two to go ahead and get started with, we'll be going ahead and going to the bottom of the fuselage and basically building upon what we started in layer number three. So for uh, this layer to start off with, we're going to be placing down a smooth quartz top slab on the bottom of this black concrete block here where the intakes are. We're then going to place down a smooth sandstone slab going forward so it's kind of in line here with the sandstone stair. After that, we're going to go ahead and go one more smooth quartz top slab back from this one right here. And then we're gonna follow it up by placing down a row of three of iron trapdoors to go back from it. So one, two, and three back like that. Once that's done, we're gonna go, go to the air side here. We're gonna go and go. We're gonna go ahead and do a row of four back. So we have a row of four there along the sides there, just like that. So we get something that looks like this here for the bottom. And uh, obviously, you're gonna be doing the same thing over to the air side. With that done, we want to go ahead and go to our diorite walls. And on the bottom of each one of these diorite walls, we're gonna be placing down a quartz top slab. So we should have a total of six quartz top slabs on the bottom of these six diorite walls and also a skeleton skull come off the quartz top slab toward the front of the aircraft. When that's done, we'll be going ahead and doing the same thing for bombs here, starting with a green terracotta block coming off this quartz top slab toward the front here, a yellow terracotta block going forward, and a green zombie head like that, a monster cobblestone wall in the back, dark oak uh, uh, wooden trap door like that. And then back here, same thing, just having our bombs here again, yellow terracotta, zombie head, green terracotta, monster cobblestone wall, and a dark oak wood. Um, trapdoor closed like that. So we have your bombs here on the bottom. With uh, that finished, we're going to go ahead and then go to our bombs to the side, and we're going to be going ahead and building off of this. So for this, we're just going to go ahead and drop down a yellow terracotta block from this skeleton school with a green um, zombie head forward, green terracotta block back, monster cobblestone wall, dark oak defense gate, and back here, we're going to be doing the same thing here. So just lining the bomb up with the previous ones for our hard points on the bottom here, and just taking this back as well. So just like that for those bombs here. And uh, with that, we can actually just go ahead and do layer one because layer one is just basically adding on bombs on the bottom rack here. So we can go ahead and do that as well. Um, just knock it out. We're gonna go ahead and again, do, use the same technique. So line up our blocks here from the previous one. And we're just gonna be placing down another set of bombs here on the bottom of these hard points um, located on the fuselage. So just going back like this and you get something that looks like that. So you have your bomb, your, basically your sets of bombs here on both sides there. Uh, full loadout and um, you know pretty much ready to go. Anyways that right there is going to complete layers one and two and from there we'll be going ahead and working our way up now in the aircraft so with that let's move on to layer number four. Alright guys going ahead and moving into our next layer we'll be going ahead and moving into layer number four. For layer four to go ahead and get started with here we'll be placing down a smooth sandstone block on top of the sandstone top slab here followed by one more block going toward the front like that to make the tip of the nose there. 
going back from this uh, smooth sandstone block here and place down three more, so in total you have a row of five here. From this point here, you can go ahead and choose to leave a space of four open for uh, the cockpit, or you can go ahead and choose to fill it in with some black concrete. I'm just going to fill it in to close it off for the sake of the tutorial, but if you do want to include an interior on yours, you can go ahead and build one, uh, basically, you know, leaving uh, some space open and coming back to it uh, when uh, you decide to get around to it. Um, so anyways, after these four, uh, this four of uh, empty space or black concrete, whatever you choose to fill it in there, we're going to be going ahead and taking our smooth quartz and placing down a row of smooth quartz block back. This row right here in total is going to be 11 blocks long and it's going to stick to past this iron trap door here in the middle back. We then want to place down a quartz up and downstairs, followed by three quartz top slabs and then two iron trap doors like that to finish it off. And now right there will be your center line of layer number four. From this, we're going to be building off to the sides now. We're going to be going ahead and taking a smooth sandstone stair and placing down an upside down stair for my bed. Um, not quite there yet. Up here, though, we will be placing down a smooth upside down stair coming off the second smooth sandstone block. And then going back from it, we're going to place down a row of one, two, and three smooth sandstone blocks back. We then want to take black concrete, place down a row of three, or sorry, row of four black concrete at back, or leave that space open for the cockpit. We're then going to take our smooth quartz and go back one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Smooth quartz blocks back, and actually we're gonna be going ahead and going back uh, an additional uh, amount. So this is gonna be, we have eight, nine, 10, and 11 quartz uh, full blocks back, and then one and two uh, quartz soft steps coming off like that on the ends there. When that's done, go into the sides here again, we're replacing down a smooth sandstone up down stair, come off this third smooth sandstone block there, the last one right like that. We then want to place down a second smooth upside and a smooth sandstone upside down stair right there coming off of it, and then a black concrete block. We're then going to place down a row of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 uh, quartz full blocks back, and then we're going to place down a quartz upside down stair like that on the end there. With that done, again going back up to the front, working our way out to the sides, we're going to be placing down a sandstone stair on top of this sandstone upside down stair. We then want to place down a row of what is going to be one, two, three uh, quartz stairs back, and then we're going to go ahead and place down a quartz corner stair, like so. After that, we're going to take our smooth quartz, we go back one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven smooth quartz blocks back, followed by a black concrete block, and then we want to place down a iron trap door that is going to be coming off of it, like so. When uh, that's done, there we're going to be going ahead and going to the sides here and continue to work our way out. With this, we're going to be going ahead and going to the first quartz block after this quartz corner stair, placing down a diorite wall coming off of it, followed by a second diorite wall back, and then one and two quartz full blocks back, and then a row of one, two, and three uh, diorite walls back as well. Uh, once that's done, for this section here, you will have to decide um, what you want to do for this. Um, you can use some birch wood trap doors, and you can go ahead and kind of close them here on the sides just to kind of close off the engine. Uh, preferably, though, if you are able to do the glitch where you can get iron trap doors to close, um, so kind of like this over here, this one for some reason opened up, but like this, where you can have it closed like that, then obviously use that technique. Um, but for the sake of the tutorial, for most of you guys, since you won't be able to do that, we can just go and use some birchwood trap doors, even though it's not the uh, best fit there. Um, it will be the best for, fit for our tutorial. Um, with that done, we're going to be going ahead and now focusing our attention now to the hard points and continue to work on these. So uh, for this, uh, we're going to be going ahead and just making the connection, uh, the pylons here for basically connection up to the wings. To begin with, we're going to be placing down a redstone repeater on this quartz top slab, have the notches flicked out to the sides there, quartz stair back, and then a row of one, two, and three diorite walls back. We're then going to place down a lever, flick toward the diorite wall, and then a redstone repeater again, like that um, on the end there. When that's done, we're going to be going ahead and going to our other pylon on the side here. We're going to place down an iron trap door on top of this second quartz block. Going back from it, we're going to place down a quartz stair. And then one, two, and three diorite walls back, and then one and two iron trap doors after that. Um, also, one thing I want to throw in that I forgot to include in the previous uh, layer, which was layers one, one and two, was the bottom of these drop tanks on the sides here. So for this, real simple, we're going to go and go to the second quartz block here, place down an iron trap door, one, two, and three quartz top slabs back, and then one, two, and three iron trap doors back from it. Um, so real simple, so your drop shit tank should look something just like that, and obviously you'll be doing the same thing over to the other side there, and once you have that complete, uh, this is what it should look like from up above, minus this um, dumb looking trap door over here, which we'll just go ahead and switch to birch while we're at it. Um, but yeah, this is what it should look like from up above for layer number four. 
With that all complete, that is uh, going to complete layer four. Let's move on to layer number five. All right, guys, moving on to our next layer, we have layer number five. For layer five to be with, we'll be going ahead and going to the nose of the aircraft here, placing down a smooth sandstone block on or smooth sandstone slab on top of the smooth sandstone block. Go back from the slab, we're going to place down four smooth sandstone blocks back. Again, uh, for the cockpit section here, you can go and choose to leave a space of four open, or you can just fill it in with some black concrete. Again, I'm filling this in with four black concrete blocks. Uh, but you can choose to leave that space open. We then want to place down a row of stone blocks that go back a total of 15 blocks and should end on top of this quartz top slab on the end here. We then want to place down a row of one, two, three, four uh, quartz, smooth quartz blocks, followed by a quart smooth quartz steps downstairs, and then two smooth quartz top steps on the end there. With that done, going ahead and going back up to the front and working our way out to the sides, we're going to be placing down a sandstone wall to the side of this smooth sandstone block in the front here, followed by one, two, and three smooth sandstone blocks back from it. Once that's done, again, taking our black concrete, we're going to fill in the space of uh, four there or leave the space open. We're then going to take stone, go back one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and thirteen stone blocks back. From that, po from that point there, we're going to take our quartz blocks and we're going to place down a row of two of smooth quartz blocks back like this and then a row of four of direct walls right alongside those four smooth quartz blocks like that on the end. Uh, with that done we're going to go ahead and go back up to the front here. We're going to take our sandstone walls and place down one and two sandstone walls like this. After that we're going to go ahead and then placing down a row of one and two of stone brick walls and then we're going to place down a stone stair after that. We then want to take our stone blocks and place down a row of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Um, or actually, my bad, went a little bit too far there. Um, let me go ahead and actually get you a actual accurate count here. It's gonna be a total of six blocks back from this stone stair. Then from this, we're gonna be placing down a stone stair like this, and then coming off of it, a stair, so we have a corner stair. We have one regular stair, followed by two, three, four, and five stairs that go back. Should end on top of that quartz up sound stair like that on the end there. With that done, we're going to go ahead and place down an iron trap door. I'm just going to go ahead and go on top of this iron trap door here. And then we want to take our quartz slabs and we're going to go ahead and place down a row of one, two, three, and four quartz slabs going forward, a stone block, and then a row of uh, one, two, three, and four black concrete blocks forward, and then a uh, narrow brick slab just like that on the end there. Uh, once that's done, we're going to go ahead and then place down a narrow brick slab coming off the side of this black concrete block, like so, and then going back from it, we're going to be placing down a row of one, two, and three black concrete blocks back like that. We're then going to place down a stone block again here, followed by one, and two, and three stone slabs coming off of it, like that, again, going toward the back. Uh, going ahead and going back up to the um, black concrete here, we're going to place down a stone slab coming off this black concrete block here. And then we want to place down a row of three of stone blocks to go back. So we're going to place down a row of one, two, and three. And then we want to place down a stone stair like this on the end here. Uh, and we're going to go and then switch to quartz slabs and place down a row of two of quartz slabs back like that. Again, going up to the front here, uh, we want to go ahead and place down a stone slab that's going to be coming off of this stone block here. Uh, we're going to take our stone blocks, go back one and two, and follow it up uh, with a stone stair, and then two quartz slabs back like that. Our uh, next row out to the side here, we're gonna place down a stone slab, coming off of this one, followed by a stone slab back, stone block, and a second stone block after that, and then two quartz slabs again, back like that. Uh, our next row out to the side here, we're gonna come off of this second uh, stone slab here, so stone slab back, two stone um, full blocks here, stone slab, and then a quartz slab, like that after it. And then out to the side here, uh, we want to go ahead and actually swap this stone block here out with a stone stair. Um, then from this point here, we're going to go ahead and place down a stone slab coming off this one, uh, followed by a second one back, and then we're going to go ahead and place down a stone stair to the side here, a stone slab, and then a quartz slab like that along the side there, so your wings should look kind of something like this and have a little bit more form to it. Uh, once that's done, we're going to go ahead and take our quartz slabs. We're going to go ahead and go to the side of the second slab here, place down one block out, and then one and two back, quartz slab, and then again to the side here, one, two, and three, and a quartz slab, just like that. And actually, these quartz slabs are going to go back, and they're going to be actually two quartz slabs back like that. Uh, once that's done, we're going to go ahead and then place down a quart, or sorry, a stone uh, corner stairs, so it's going to be come off this slab right here, so stone stair, and then one and two back, and then a quartz slab, just like that. And that's going to be this little uh, 
little fin that kind of pops up there on the wings. We then want to place down a row of three of stone slabs, so one, two, three, and a quartz slab. And after that, we're going to be placing down a row of two, and then a quartz slab. So second one, stone slab, second one back, quartz slab. And then uh, we're going to then place down a row of three, so one, two, and three of stone slabs. And then we're just going to go ahead and finish off by going to the tip here, placing down a row of two like that on the end. So looking at it from above, you should have something that looks just like this. You're going to take, obviously, what we did over the right side for the wing, flip it over to the left side, and you'll have your main wings all set up and complete. With that, that is going to wrap up layer number five. Or, sorry, that might actually be layer number six, actually. Uh, anyways, that's going to wrap up the layer. Let's go ahead and move on to our next layer. All right, guys, moving on to our next layer, we have layer number six. For layer six, to go ahead and get started with here, we're placing down another brick slab on top of this second stone slab block like that. Or a stone, uh, smooth sandstone block like that. So another brick slab on top of it, followed by two black concrete blocks back, and then a row four of light gray stained glass. We then want to place down a row of stone blocks. That's going to go back in total. 20 blocks, and it's going to end on top of this quartz upside down stair. After that, we're going to place down a row of three of smooth quartz that goes back just like that for the tail there. With that done, go back up to the front here. We're going to be going ahead and placing down a narrow brick slab on the side of this black concrete block, and then a second block, or uh, another black concrete block back from that narrow brick slab. Once that's done, we're going to place down a like gray stained glass block, followed by a uh, stone slab, and then we're going to place down a row of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen stone blocks back. Let me go and just double check the count here. And yep, sixteen stone blocks in total. With that done, we're gonna go and then take our stone brick stairs, or walls, sorry, and we're gonna place down two stone brick walls. We then want to place a row of one, two, and three, and actually four quartz upside down stairs. We're gonna go and then place down a quartz top slab. With that done, coming off the stairs here and the quartz top slab, we're going to place down a row of 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 quartz top slabs. We then want to place down a row of 4, 1, 2, 3, and 4, and a second row of 1, 2, 3, 4. With that done, we're going to go and place down two rows of 3, so 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. And then on the very tip here, we're just going to place down a row of 2, 1, 2. So you get something that looks like this from up above here. And again, this line is straight on the back here, and you have a cascading kind of staircase effect like that for the front. Uh, with that finished there, we're going to be going ahead and going to uh, the side, back up to our cockpit here and work our way out to the sides here again. We're going to place down a narrow brick wall, come off the side of this black concrete block, and then back from this we're going to take light gray stained glass panes and place down one and two light gray stained glass panes back, followed by a row of one, two, and three stone brick walls. With that done, we're going to go and then place down a row of two of stone blocks, followed by one and two stone brick stairs, and then switch it back to stone brick walls. We're going to go ahead and place down one, two, three, four, five, and six stone brick walls back like that. Once that's done, uh, we want to go ahead and then uh, go to our wings here, and we're building this little banner extension here on the wings. So for this, we're going to be going ahead and going to this row of three here of stone blocks right after the black section here, and we're going to place down three iron trapdoors across here, and then three light gray banners coming off of like that again for like a little fin here like we did right there um, that's popping up there from the, um, the wings. And once that's done, uh, that's pretty much the main body complete. What we're going to go ahead and dive into now is how to go ahead and put these banners on. Uh, they're pretty straightforward and pretty simple. So uh, with that, let's go ahead and move into putting the uh, banners on. All right, guys, so going ahead and moving into the banners. Uh, to go ahead and kind of get started with here, we'll be going ahead and start with this little red uh, kind of marker here that's underneath the cockpit on the side here. So for this, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves a light gray banner and go into the loom. Yeah, we're going to place down our light gray banner in the loom. We're going to place down our red die section in the top right here, and we're going to go and choose a selection of banner that looks just like this. We're going to go and grab that banner um, like this, and we should have a red stripe across the top. We're going to put it back in there, and then we're going to place down a light gray die piece in there. We're going to go and do the slanted line like this. Go ahead and grab our banner, place down another light gray piece, and do the opposite slanted line like so. So you get a banner that looks basically just like this, and it's going to go ahead and go on this third or this middle uh, stone brick wall there in that row of three, and that'll be the same thing there on both sides. From this point here, I'm gonna be linking a tutorial down in the description that will show you guys how to go ahead and make the navy lettering on the side here. It's uh, really straightforward, um, really simple, um, and the tutorial walks you through it really good. Uh, just a quick little note for a lot of you guys. Uh, you may also want to make letters for the tail here, so whatever tail 
lettering you want. Uh, it can be whatever you want. It can be based off an aircraft carrier, whatever you want. Um, you can go ahead and look at the lettering and also make those letter banners while you're at it, as we will be using those for the tail. Uh, but for the Navy letters, it's real simple. You're just going to make the N, A, B, and Y, and they're going to be going ahead and going across these four uh, stone brick walls. So just go ahead and make those. Look at that tutorial down in the description, and it'll walk you through how to uh, go ahead and make those banners and all that stuff. Um, anyways, once that's uh, finished off there, we'll be going ahead and now moving into basically the um, little insignia here on the back here. So for this, this is uh, pretty straightforward, pretty simple. We're going to start off by going ahead and grab ourselves a white banner. We're going to place down a white banner in our loom. We're going to place down a uh, red die in there and do the stripe across the middle like so. We're going to grab our white banner, put a blue die in, select the top portion here so you get something that looks like this, or sorry, my bad. They're going to place light gray die in its place and you're going to get a little look like this. And you're going to do the same thing, put the banner back in there and select the bottom one so you get um, a banner that looks just like this. And this banner is going to go ahead and go right here and right there. And you'll see you get the light gray on the top and bottom, two white stripes and a red stripe in the middle. And obviously, same thing over there on that side. With that done, we're going to go ahead and take our blue banner. We're going to place down a blue banner in the loom. And we want to go ahead and place our light gray die in. We want to go ahead and select the top uh, left section, this little cube here. We're going to grab that put it back in and select the bottom left. So you get something that looks like that and we have that banner complete. We're going to put in our blue banner in and this time do the bottom right and top right. And we can go ahead and then take these two banners and put them on the side here just like this and uh, like that so that the blue is facing each other and you have a little circular shape like that. And uh, you're going to be obviously putting the same banners on the other side too. So just um, that's pretty much about it for the banners. Just make sure to go ahead and take a look at the uh, you know, the navy writing and also decide what letters you want for the tail here and also make those banners so it's a little bit easier for you guys later on you don't have to go hopping in between videos too much. Anyways, that right there is going to complete layer number six. With that, let's go ahead and move on to layer number four. Or layer number seven, sorry. Alright guys, moving on to our next layer. We have layer number seven. For layer seven to go ahead and get started with here, we'll be placing down another brick fence post on top of this second uh, block of concrete right here. We then want to place down an upside down a uh, stone stair like this, followed by a row of three of like racing glass box back from that stair. We then want to place down a row of one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven stone blocks back, followed by a row of what is going to be five black concrete blocks back. We're going to place down a narrow brick stair, followed by a row of one, two, three, and four narrow brick slabs, a stone block, two block of two blocks of coal ore, a stone block, and then two quartz blocks like that on the end here. And we also want to place down stone buttons on the stone block here and this quartz block like that on the end. When that's done, we're going to go back up to the cockpit and continue to work our way out to the sides. We're going to take our light gray stained glass, place down a block next to the stair, followed by one and two blocks back, followed by a stone slab. We then want to take our stone blocks, go back one, two, three, four, five uh, stone blocks back. We're going to go and then take our stairs. We're going to place down a stone stair like so, followed by one, two, three, four, and five stone stairs coming off of it, and then one and two stone slabs after it, so you have your stairs there and two stone slabs like that back. We're going to go and then place down our stone a skeleton skull, followed by a skeleton skull at a slight angle, about a 30 degree, degree angle like that. And then we also want to go and take this banner here and replace it, because I just broke that. Uh, with that done, we're going to continue on, uh, going to the sides now, we're going to take our light gray stained glass panes, and on the side of these blocks here we're going to place down one two three and four light gray stained glass panes and then we're going to take our stone brick walls and go back one two three four and five stone brick walls back taking our skeleton skulls we're going to go and follow it up by placing down one two three uh, skeleton skulls and then one at a 30 degree angle like that on the end there with that all finished that is going to complete layer number uh, seven. With that, let's go ahead and move on to layer number eight. All right, guys, moving to our next layer, we're going to be moving on to layer number eight. For layer eight, to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to be placing down a narrow brick stair on top of this narrow brick fence post, then coming off the back of this narrow brick stair and place down a narrow brick top slab. We then want to go ahead and take a dark oak wood sign, and on both sides of this top slab, we're going to place down a dark oak wood sign, and then a wood skeleton skull on the very tip here of this narrow brick stair like that. Once that's, or the Nurbrick top sub, sorry. With that, we're gonna go and then place down a stone stair on top of this middle light gray stained glass block after the stone stair there. And then we're gonna place down a row of three of light gray stained glass blocks back. From this point here, we're gonna go and take our stone blocks, place down one and two stone blocks back, stone stair, stone slab, two iron trap doors, and then four stone buttons right along the tail there like so. 
Coming back here to the vertical stabilizer, we're going to place down one, two, and three stone blocks, quartz block, and a tie rope all like that on the end there. With that done, going up to the carpet and working our way out to the sides, we're going to be placing out a narrow brick slab on both sides of the stone stair here, followed by a row of one, two, and three light gray stained glass blocks back. And then we're going to go and take our stone block, place down a stone block back like this, followed by a stone stair, stone slab, and then an iron trap door like that to go and finish that off. Uh, going back up to the front here, we're going to go and go to this uh, third light gray stained glass pane right here, place down a Wither Skeleton Skull like that to the side, followed by one and two Wither Skeleton Skulls back, and then we want to place down a Skeleton Skull, and then a uh, Skeleton Skull at a slight angle like that on the end there. And with that all complete, that is going to do it for layer number eight. With that, we're going to move into our final layers, layers nine, ten, and eleven, where we're going to go ahead and basically put the tail on the top of the cockpit and go ahead and finish off the um, in-flight version. Uh, of the aircraft. With that, let's go ahead and move into our final layers. Alright guys, going ahead and moving into our last final layers, we have layers 9 through 11. For these layers, to go ahead and get started with here, we'll be going ahead and taking an iron trap door, placing it on top of this light gray stained glass block, fall by 1 and 2, narrow brick size back, and then an iron trap door right there on top of that stone block. And then right there, we'll finish off the cockpit. With that back, we're going to be going ahead and working on our tail. We're going to go ahead and place down a stone block on top of this one, Followed by one and two stone blocks back, smooth quartz block, and then a direct wall on the end here. If you remember back before, I told you guys about the banners. Um, so back here, you will be needing you will be needing two banners, and of course, this can be whatever lettering you guys want. Uh, for me, I just chose A H. You can go ahead and basically do whatever you guys want there. Um, so again, refer to that tutorial um, link down below if you need to go ahead and make two banners for the tail there. Anyways, when that's all complete there, we're going to go ahead and then place down a stone block on top of this middle block here. And we're going to place down a second stone block back from it, followed by a smooth quartz block. We're going to place down a skeleton skull on both sides of this first stone block. And then after that, we're going to take some stone brick walls. And we're going to be placing down a row of two stone brick walls going back from the skeleton skull. On top here, we're going to place down a stone stair on top of this stone block. And then one and two stone blocks going back from the stone stair like that on the top there. And then uh, we just want to go ahead and grab ourselves a... End rod, and we're going to be placing down a row of two of end rods coming off this stair like so. So one and two, like that. And with that all done, you have the in-flight version of the A6 Intruder all complete. And uh, with that, we're going to be going ahead and now moving into the lander version. So those of you guys that want to build a lander version, you'll have the opportunity to do that now. Um, anyways, that's it for the in-flight version. Let's go ahead and move into the landed version. All right, guys, going ahead and moving into our landing gear, we're going ahead and starting off with the front um, set of gear. So for this, we're going ahead and going down to the nose here on the bottom, and we're going to need to break some uh, blocks out to get this landing gear in place. So for this, we're going to be breaking out um, one, two, three, and four quartz full blocks on the bottom here. Now, this first section right in here, we're going to be going ahead and grab ourselves some die right walls, and we're going to place down a die right wall, this first block right here, and then go down one more. We then want to place down a quartz stair on the bottom of this direct wall and then a quartz stair coming off of it like so. After that on the bottom, back of the stair we're going to place down a lever facing upwards and then a quartz stop slab on the bottom of the stair with a block of coal uh, which I'll need to grab here. Block of coal, sometimes I always forget where this is located, it's kind of a block that can easily hide, there it is right there. And we're going to place down a block of coal here on both sides of this quartz top slab. Stone button on the side, item frame, white stained glass pane in the item frame like this for the rims there for the wheels. And it's going to be just like that for the front wheel. Now with that, we're going to go ahead and go back from this, place in a quartz slab, quartz top slab, and then a uh, direct wall located up here on the top there. Also, in these two black concrete blocks, we're going to fill these in with two quartz top slabs here on the bottom just to kind of close that off a little bit better. Um, we also can go ahead and grab ourselves some quartz stairs, and we're going to go ahead and place down quartz stairs where these two iron trap doors, trap doors are. So we're going to break these two iron trap doors on both sides, and place down two quartz upside-down stairs here on both sides, just like that for the doors to open up to uh, let the landing crew out. And right there will be your front wheel. Again, um, if you set this up properly off the ground and all that stuff, three blocks of space, the uh, landing gear should fit perfectly, and the aircraft should be sitting just fine. Anyways, with that, let's go ahead and move into the rear landing gear. Alright guys, going ahead and move it into our uh, next part, where we're going ahead and work on the rear uh, wheels here on the back. So for this, we're going to be going ahead and going to this section right here. Now for this section right here, we're going to need to break a small section of the side here open. Um, so, real simple, for this, we're going to be going ahead and going to the stairs here. 
And we want to go ahead and start off by going ahead and breaking this stair that's in line with this last iron trap door. So this is your fourth stair from the last. We're going to break this stair out, and then we're going to break the following three stairs after it. Now, once that's done, we're going to be placing down a... Um, or actually, sorry, the following four stairs. Um, on this side, we're going to place down a direct wall, and on the other side, we're also going to place down a direct wall, followed by a row of two of end rods across in between them. Now, from this direct wall toward the back, we're going to place down another direct wall down, followed by a... Uh, third direct wall down like this and then we want to place down a quartz top slab here on the bottom with a uh, narrow brick stair uh, upside down coming off of it narrow brick stair on top of it and stairs back around to make the wheel like so after that's done we're going to place down a quartz slab come off this direct, middle direct wall and then a quartz top slab that goes up like that from it just like that when that's done coming off the direct wall and end rods and um, all that stuff we're going to be placing down a row four there of quartz stairs like that to kind of make the door that would open up there and all that fun stuff and the last thing we're just going to take an iron frame place it down on this um, direct wall and then place down a snowball on it for the landing lights and with that all complete that is going to complete the landing gear and take that same design copy it over to the air side and you'll have basically the landing gear all complete for the a6 intruder anyways that right there guys is going to complete my tutorial for the grumman a6 intruder I uh, hope you guys did enjoy this tutorial. If you guys uh, did, obviously be sure to leave a positive comment and also a like on the video. It helps me out big time and all that stuff. Much appreciated. Again, a big thanks to Patreon supporter Brick Bros 2016 uh, for making this tutorial possible. And feel free again to check out my Patreon page. Link is down in the description. Um, anyways, that right there is going to do it for this tutorial. Thank you guys all so much for watching. Um, if you guys do use this as I do, so you guys give me proper credit for it. This is going to be the from a silent build to, do my, to a link to my channel. Um, if this is appearing on social media sites, so be sure I get proper credit for the build. That's all I ask for when doing these tutorials. Helps my channel grow and it continues to keep me inspired to keep on posting these types of tutorials. So, as long as you guys do give me credit for it, you're free to whatever projects you guys are working on. And that, thank you guys all so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This has been Gary Two Before, and I'll see you guys next time.